so sore. I got my <laughs> kicked at BDB Mastermind event in Texas. And I'm gonna talk all about that today. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna share my stories. I'm gonna give you my biggest takeaways from the event. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Adrian Graphics and Marketing channel. So grateful to be back here after an amazing week away. What I need from you guys is if you guys have been following my content, I've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of emails, even messages now on Instagram, which is awesome. So I love and appreciate you all so much. If you could please hit that like button because I'm going to share some amazing stuff in this video that you guys are going to love. I'm going to share a little bit of what happened. I brought my video camera with me, got some great footage. And I want to talk about that today. So hit that like button, hit the subscribe button so you get updates on all my content. I'm putting out amazing training, amazing tips. And we got another channel now for tutorials. So hit that button, drop a comment down below and introduce yourself. All right. So you guys saw that I went on a mastermind event to Texas for the Billion Dollar Brotherhood, also known as BDB Elite. You're probably wondering what that is. Billion Dollar Brotherhood is a group of guys that have come together that are all high achievers, that are all trying to reach the next level, level up their mind, level up their body, and level up their relationships. In fact, that is what it means to be a three-dimensional businessman, is health, wealth, and relationships. I went there with an open heart and an open mind and expected to have a lot of growth there. And I gotta say, that's exactly what I got. And I got a lot more than I bargained for. You know that saying, be careful what you wish for? Well, it's very true because I went there expecting to get leveled up in my mind and even in my heart, but I didn't realize I was gonna have to really face the reality of my health. And so that's the first takeaway I wanna share with you guys today is my health. I gotta be the first to admit, I gotta be vulnerable with you guys, I gotta be transparent and tell you that I have not been well with my health. I eat decent, I don't eat a ton of junk food, but at night I do snack. I do have a lot of snacks while I'm watching a show before I pass out. And it's really important that I change those behaviors and change those patterns because without your health, you have nothing. If I don't get to live a long life and watch my daughter and my grandkids grow up someday, I don't have grandkids yet, but I want to have grandkids someday, and I don't get to watch them grow up, what is all this for? I do what I do for my family, and so I realized that I hadn't been taking care of my body. And how I take care of my body is how I take care of my relationships and also how I take care of my business. And so it was really time to level up and to understand that I had not been working out, I had not been pushing myself beyond my breaking point, and I had not gotten uncomfortable with fitness in a very, very long time. I was making excuses to myself and telling myself a narrative that, oh, it's okay because I ride my bike every once in a while. It's okay because I skateboard once in a while. It's okay because I do a lot of dancing and I run around in my living room with my daughter and I'm super active. That is not working out. Working out is actually pushing your body to the point where you're sore. I haven't been sore and I don't know how long my legs feel like they're going to fall off. And if your legs don't feel like that, that means you're not working out hard enough. And you'll see in these videos and this, the content that we're sharing in this video, how hard we really pushed it. I actually got to the point throughout the workouts on the second day, we had these stations set up where I actually had to run. And I do not like running. I've told people the only reason I'm gonna be running is if it's from a lion or from the cops. Not that I run from cops, but just a funny joke. That was just kind of a narrative that I was telling myself that I hated to run. And it's time to wash that away. It's time to throw that in the trash. And it's time to start going out and running. It's something that I want to do now. It's something that I want to do with my wife. It's an opportunity for me to grow closer in my relationships with my wife. And I'm just really excited to be able to do that part of my life with my wife. Hey, look at that, I'm a poet. And so that's the biggest area that I'm focusing on now is doing burpees, doing push-ups, doing sit-ups, doing workouts every single day, like lunges. Oh man, those lunges hurt. But at the end of the day, it's gonna make me better. It's gonna make me healthier. It's gonna give me more energy. I'm gonna wake up ready to face my day, okay? Now, number two, and this one was a huge deal for me, was fellowship. I was able to create friendships, lifelong friendships, open up and really get to know people, their hearts, their stories, their lives, their pains, and even some of the dark areas of their life that we put into light and we were able to reveal and no longer had power over them and things that no longer have power over me. And so having that time to bond as a community, as friends and as brothers and to pour into each other, give each other clarity and show each other where we need to improve was a very big deal. So I got a lot of time to really bond with these guys and really establish these lifelong friendships. And I'm gonna be doing business with a lot of these guys. So I'm super excited about that. Now, the last thing that was really important and was the big, big takeaway for me was my self-worth. 
A lot of people really struggle with their self-worth, even if you don't realize it. Certain areas that have held you back because of situations that have happened to you in your life. This is really important. I want you to take a step back and look at the traumatic, the hurtful, the hurts, the habits, and the hangups in your life and really analyze what those things are doing to other parts of your business. And really, at the end of the day, there are limiting beliefs with money and money is the root of all evil and all these things that we're told by society that are just wrong. So I really want you to focus on removing these limiting beliefs. And if you haven't invested into a mastermind, this would be a great time to do so. So after we wrapped up the mastermind, I got to go on a trip, a fishing trip with my favorite brothers that I got really close with that I've been doing business with. We caught some monster fish. Me and my buddies caught the biggest fishes we ever caught. And it was just incredible. And we got to unpack everything that we got from the mastermind and hold each other accountable and set some goals while we were on that trip. And it was a memorable trip that I'll remember for the rest of my entire life. When I was looking at investments for 2020 and what I could put my money into that I had, this was the one common thing that I had done over and over again in my life, courses and coaches and consultants and trainers and making these investments into myself have always paid the biggest ROI. And so that's what I want to leave you, leave with you guys today is you need to invest into yourselves. Billion Dollar Brotherhood, whatever the mastermind or community is that you're going to invest in, it's very important. You want to find the right groups to invest in and find people that are high achievers that are really pushing to level up and go outside of their comfort zone. You're going to get comfortable with being uncomfortable if you do that. And that's where I'm at today is my health, my wealth, my relationships. I do not want to become comfortable. If you are not growing, you're you're, decre you're decreasing and declining and you're dying. So that's what I'm pushing you guys to do is I wanna encourage each and every one of you to make an investment in yourself in 2021, whether that's a mastermind, a coach, a mentor, whatever you have to do monetarily to make that happen, make it happen because you deserve to live the life of your dreams and you can't do it alone. If you wanna go fast, go alone. But if you wanna go far, go with a pack. That's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell. And as always, keep looking up.